everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well um i want to do this makeup because we are clearly coming into autumn so you know what i thought it's time it's that time of the year when the rusts and the greens and the browns come out so yeah if you want to see how i did this look then keep on watching okay so for the first primer i'm using a pearly one this is from benef professionals um it's really really nice this is the mini one that i'm using at the moment and then for the second primer i'm using the smashbox um i think it's the pore minimizing primer which is absolutely um, amazing for i like the t-zone so i'm just using that on my forehead nose and chin then for the first um, layer of foundation, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Slight Wonder Foundation in Full Fair. This is again one of my favourites. I use it all the time just to give it some extra glow. And then we're going to do our eyes first this time. So this is a Smashbox, if I'm not wrong, the Desert Palette. I will have all the details on the screen as well so you can know which colour I'm using. So I'm just using like a very dark brown colour for the crease on both the eyes um, and taking it quite high again because I've got hooded eyes. Then I'm going in with this really dark green, um, I would call like a, like a khaki dark green colour just on my lids, uh, not taking it too high up. It will just stay put on my lids. And then on top to give my eyes some dimension, I'm adding... A shimmery green color which is in the palette which is absolutely beautiful it's one of my favorite ones in the palette so just adding that to the middle and then I'm just enhancing um, the outer crease with the same dark green color that we used initially next I am going in with my liner so I don't line my eyes outside but I line them inside this is the Rimmel exaggerate liner in the color i think it's called rich brown I'm just using that in my waterline and also tight lining with it then i just did my eyebrows with my l'oreal um eyebrow plumper in the color medium brown next going in with the skin now so i'm just helping with my dark circles this is the ysl touche clair which is the the first one that they came up with just that has a, like a peachy undertone so it helps with um, quite dark circles like me now for the main foundation uh, foundation I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation this color I'm using is called macaroon which initially looks really light but then it blends in like an absolute dream so I think yeah it's just one of her best foundations um, and the reason why I gave myself like a very pearly and uh, moisturizing basis because this foundation is very high coverage and it sometimes can look very flat so just helping my skin to have a bit more dimension next going in on my concealer this is the Pat McGrath concealer which is an absolute dream I've just recently started using this and I have fallen up with it so yeah that's also one thing um, just adding that with a damp sponge and look at the finish of that concealer it is beautiful now i am setting everything with my charlotte tilbury powder um, in the color medium i've also added the same uh, green glitter under my eyes as well so that's what you can see next going in with bronzer this is the physician's formula butter bronzer one of my absolute favorites it smells like holidays and i badly need a holiday but you know miss rona is not going to let us go anywhere is she no she's not anyway Moving on, uh, we are going in with uh, blush. This is the Kiko, I want to say cr breast cream blush, but I'll put it down the exact name here. It's a very peculiar texture and it's absolutely one of my favorites. I haven't used it in a very long time, so I thought I would use it here. Um, and I'm just applying that with a damp sponge only because I realized that I had powdered my face so I didn't want to take off anything so the best thing to do is instead of using your fingers you should use a sponge now for the highlighter I am using the Becca highlighter in the color opal this is the liquid one I've got the powder one as well but yeah I like this more so again uh, I'm just highlighting my cheeks the 
bridge of the nose cupid's bow and above my eyebrows which is one of my favorite things to do next i am going in with my mascara which is the essence princess lash mascara this is my absolute favorite these days and i'm only using that on the top um, lashes now lining my lips with the nyx lips lip pencil in the color fudge and then using a lipstick from mac cosmetics which is called dangerous and then to top that off i'm just using some of the uh, like a gold color from the palette onto the middle of my lips to give it more dimension and yeah that is done i hope you guys like this please give it some a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye